Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to this Let's Play that we are just starting right now, and the game we are playing is Until Dawn. I'm so excited to play this game, you guys. I've been wanting to play it for a while now. I keep seeing it in my recommended to watch list for other people that have played this game. So I did a little bit of research, found out it's an interactive horror game where you play eight different characters and that's already insane it sounds like a great time and as you guys know i just finished playing detroit become human which was honestly one of the best games i've played in my entire life that was also an interactive game but this is an interactive horror game horror is one of my favorite genres so i feel like this is going to be awesome and there's actually pretty notable cast members in this game we have hayden panettiere that you can see right here on the screen already i think rami malik is in this game and probably other people that i just don't know because i don't know too much about this game from what i understand it's a group of friends that go up like in the mountains during the winter and then something is either like following them or they get snowed in i have no idea i just know some bad stuff is a bound to start happening and i just can't wait to play this game you guys it's going to be awesome if you haven't already watched my detroit become human gameplay you definitely should check that out because like i said it was one of the best games i played in my entire life so yeah you guys without much further ado let's start playing until dawn the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now The butterfly, butterfly effect is very interesting. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future, I think it's said. They're like really nailing that point in that it's all interactive and I can ruin everyone's lives because I believe in this game, people can die. They may not get to the end. Alright you guys, here we go. What are these people up to? <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Yeah, something tells me that, like, whatever's that? going on is the Last least of their concerns. Josh. Oh, I think this is me. Yep. Da -da -da. yep. Perfect. We love the tutorial. Okay. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Something tells me that it was oh not my Mike. God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. 
intervention time. Okay, so I think things that I can interact with have that like little sparkle of light. Yeah, like that. So let's get over there. Press and hold to pick up the bottle. What is that? Whiskey? At least the Jeez, people have taste. Josh. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Mm. I've got your note. Glad you can make it. What do they plan for this Maybe poor girl? Maybe should start with a little, you know, making out, and we'll see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, Not the word I was going to use. Childish, assholeish, dumb. Use the right stick to choose. What does that mean? Does that mean find others or wake Josh? Well, I, I would like to wake him up. If there's something outside, I don't really Josh. want to go alone. Josh! Fuck! Guys, there's someone outside. my sister going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank han what did you do we just messing around beth it wasn't serious you jerks hannah hannah so <laughs> should we go after her you know i kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now mike press correct action before time oh, runs out oh great got it <sighs> They're really just like throwing us right into it, aren't they? Because, I mean, follow footprints, follow noise. Footprints, probably. Why would I follow the noise? Okay, bitch. Like, all brave. I wouldn't run into them. They're wild animals still. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? <sighs> Status Hannah. updates. What is that? Oh, okay. Controls are gonna take some time getting used to. They're a little bit jerky. What is nothing? Do I see footprints? Do I see anything? Yeah, this the controls are a little bit messy. Okay, normally I hate games that do tutorials Hello? like this, Hello? like with like the pop-ups, but I'm glad that these are placed in times that make sense and we can continue with the story so I don't have to like spend so long doing the tutorial. What are you?
Oh. I don't even know what that means. Okay, totem prophecies. The possible death of the person who finds it. Okay, so apparently we have a few different totems. Death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. This chunk of text says, Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. A lot of pressure. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Which I'm assuming is this at the bottom with... So I need a lot more than that. So that's that. So there's a lot of different things here. Okay, so this is cool. Character traits, relationship statuses. Cool, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. Wow, that's a lot. Lots of clues, oh my gosh, there's so many different things. This game's gonna stress me out. Okay, well, since we found it, I'm assuming that means we could possibly die if we do something incorrectly. So let's... What was that? I really like the environment though, it's like, whoa, see I knew something was over there. What the hell was that? I don't know, but I don't like it. Going back to what I was saying, the environment's really eerie and scary, and the sound design's really tense. Anna. Is that something like, like right, Anna. yeah, okay, good, Hello? good. What happened to her? Hannah, oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. Please. Please. God, he has like a flamethrower? Fucking please. Drop Hannah or let go. What the fuck? <laughs> well, we died. Well, I'm annoyed. So I'm assuming if I dropped her, I would not have died. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Who is this? You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. All right. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. 
Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. He knows I'm annoyed. All right. My heart is racing right now. We won't now. start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I really have to? Oh. I guess this is the only one, right? A scarecrow? So... How did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Not sure, I just don't like it. If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Huh. So, if it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? I don't understand. Okay, let me actually look at this picture. I would say it bothers me. Maybe it is a scarecrow. But maybe, I, I guess maybe just, maybe, maybe the field. Maybe because I just don't really know what's going on in this picture. And is this threat human or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? I guess not human, it would just be not knowing. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Ew, these oh, paintings well, behind him. We can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Who? I think the thing that made me most uncomfortable in the situation was that man. I'm very confused. Also annoyed that I'm... Well... Wasn't expecting like a whole musical number. But I'm wondering if I could have changed that or when he said like what just happened could not have been changed so maybe they were gonna die anyways. And now they are emphasizing the importance of my choices now. Not entirely sure. But I guess right now we have our wonderful title sequence. So we have Miss Hayden Panettiere. So Rami Malik is in this game, indeed. Overall, I'm very intrigued though. The controls are a little bit janky for me, so it might take some time to get... Oh, Jordan Fisher's in this, wow. Okay. Interesting. But I'm really intrigued by the whole premise of this game. I really like the ambiance and the environment about it. Should be really, really interesting. I want to know what was going on with that man in the blowtorch. Or flamethrower. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington Not girls missing. left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Hmm. Not officially, no. 
There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Weird ass analogy to be saying, but I mean, I guess. Okay, so far, it seems like Hayden Pan- oh, oh, okay, we're not done with the Tycho sequence. Interesting. Anyways. It seems like Hayden Panettiere's character is the only one that didn't really want to do that prank. So it seems like she feels super guilty. Love it. Have a lot of places that that character can go. I'm assuming that's a chapter. Chapter one, Memento Mori, 10 hours until dawn. So this man has just been like chilling in this area for a whole last year. Okay, makes sense why she's super torn up by this because she was Hannah's best friend. She is diligent, considerate, and adventurous. This is Sam. Hello? Someone there? So it's just after nine o'clock. Yep, we know that part. The gate's busted. Climb over. Chris. Wow, what? <sighs> Damn it. Can I do anything else with this one? Oh, Jesus, never mind. Oh, got it. Guess we shouldn't climb up that gate when it has spikes. Not bad.
Those commands come real quick. Like, real quick. Like, I'm gonna be terrified to blink. gonna like that feature like at all like right now it's with a cute little squirrel two hours later it's gonna be with the, the killer no thank you cool so let's see what it's talking about with the objective yep makes sense and we already went through all these tabs earlier okay makes sense makes sense okay So this is talking about the totems that we learned about earlier. Very nice. Oh, perfect. Another one. <laughs> Sounds good. Do I do something? There we go. Look at that nail polish. Okay, where are you? Guidance totem. With a, a little birdie. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices that you make. Yep, makes sense. Okay, well, now we found two totems. Could that be the bird? I don't know. All right, this sign is very ominous. The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess it's considered graffiti, but. Mm -hmm. Chris, you here? The bag's here, where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? I do not like that. Snoop or clothes bag? Who's calling? Ashley? I'm not going to answer. It's fine. We don't need it. It's fine. Cool. A butterfly effect appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. I don't know why I think that's so funny with like the flash photography or whatever. Okay, Chris is methodical, protective, and humorous, and he has a crush on Ashley. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. Okay, so presumably had I opened the bag, he probably would have been all mad. And like, what are you going through my bag? So yeah, we're fine. I like to be honest and true. Oh, what are you? Wanted. Oh, look at this. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, I'm gonna oh, assume. At least abandoned most of the year. Somebody comes up here. Okay, we can look at the clues once we start finding more. Because that's only one. But I'm assuming that probably is our masked Pretty rad, right? stalker. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? 
What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. Okay, I'm thinking that means we switched over to start playing as Chris. Alright, plenty of targets. Use the right. Oh, great, there's gonna be shooting in this game. Imagine when, like, this gets, like, really fast and important to get these. Oh, no, that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> uh. I hate that. <laughs> okay. Well, Let's go. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I am not shooting the damn squirrel. How dare you even give me that option? Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, that just makes me sad because I bet a lot of people shoot the poor squirrel. Mm -mm. But then again, like I shoot the squirrel, and then Sam is like, "You killed the squirrel!" Like, uh, we're not going to be doing anything that's going to make things possibly really bad for us. I want to look over here to see if there's anything. Super fast, it almost feels like they just died. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He's been going through so much and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help. I mean, you guys are all together now, presumably to give him support, so better than nothing, I suppose. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. I mean, also unsurprising. It's, no one's here. Is there anything else here? No. You'll have to apologize. You'll have to forgive me if I continuously explore. Especially now that I know there's like totems and clues and all this stuff in this game. I'm going to be looking in every nook and cranny. place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Sanatorium. What is a sanatorium? Is that like That's something not good? Something tells me these cameras need to be updated. They look terrible. Anything else in this little place? Maybe in the lockers? Nope. If I keep watching the cameras, does something happen? Can I do something with the cameras? Nope. Well then. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really don't think there's anything else in here. Alright, I guess we're gonna go back and wait with Sam. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some seeds, but... There's literally nothing here. Okay, so let's just go. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. <laughs> and? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> okay. I mean... I get it. Some people meet in a very odd, random fashion. A little bit weird to be, like, using it as a segue for the butterfly effect, but whatever, I guess. Oh, Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Sounds boy, like something. Boy, boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Well, the cable cart literally just left, so she's gonna be here for a cool minute. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys oh, having a really she's on the top stroke? of the mountain already. We're Got stuck it. in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. This is like the most dysfunctional group of friends I've ever uh, you guys go ahead. experienced. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. That c <laughs> the cable car was moving so fast. Okay, well this is the infamous M, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive Emily. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. 
Okay, we have Matt. He's motivated, ambitious, and active. But apparently, he's also dating Emily. So something happened between Emily and Mike. Either one of them was cheating on each other, and then they just stayed with them, or they both were cheating on each other, because this just seems like a very quick and where's the bell turnaround bell? for both of them. Messy, messy, messy. How did we get here if this is like all closed off? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Is this the bridge it's that gonna feel like a regular party. we ran around? What do you think? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Jesus! <laughs> Mike, intelligent, driven, persuasive. Emily's ex. You guys. Michael. Also, the guy that was really, really mean to Hannah at the beginning of the game. Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. We won't cause any conflict yet. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Why do I feel like she is not going to go talk to Sam? Why do I just genuinely get that feeling? Like I said, this group of friends seems like a damn mess. There are so many people. Oh. Ashley has a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, and forthright. So she is who was calling Chris earlier, but we did not answer that call. Like, I can't tell if this is like an overwhelming amount of people to be playing. Like, it's cool. What are we looking at? Am I supposed to... Oh, there we go. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Did I not wow, say that I felt like she was away. not talking? I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Is there anything? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to... I'm sorry. Well, I, I got scare hella scared. You, sort of scary, but not like for real oh scary. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? You should be apologizing to me. Uh, it, and to everyone that was watching this video with headphones because they probably ruined your eardrums. Um. Oh, okay. He wants to look at the telescope binoculars, but then if he does, he's gonna see. Hmm. 
I feel like I've been really passive so far in this game, and I don't think it's a bad thing to have him see it, just because we're being honest. That's being a good friend. So, sure, go ahead, look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Okay, maybe I made a bad decision. <laughs> But you know what? There are so many people in this game. We're going to have fun with some of these storylines because they're already a damn mess. That's going to make this even more entertaining for us, don't you think? Okay, we're back with Jess, who apparently just wants to sit at this cable car for, like, ever. Let's check our phone. Do we even have service? <gasps> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, Please. I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, okay. see, 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 I told you this was gonna happen. Oh, Ray. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Hiding, little chicken. Oh, ah. oh, but at the hey. same time, I'm glad the first oh, time that we are doing this target thing. Oh, oh, it's a little birdie from the premonition. Hello, come on. Okay, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Oh, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> After this scene, I'll check what totem that was on, because I don't remember. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing. Yeah, we're not going to hit the bird. Like, Why do you want me to hurt animals? What was the reason? What was the reason, bitch? Mike really sucks at dodging. I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. I don't like oh, him anyways. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Wonder yeah. what he's talking about. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Okay, you guys. I think this has been a great first start to this game. Great first episode. I'm going to pause it right here, and we will continue next time. If you are enjoying this Let's Play, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Click that little like button, and if you want to continue watching the rest of this Let's Play, do not forget to click the subscribe button, because you'll be notified as soon as I upload this video, especially if you click that little bell notification. Thank you guys so much for the support. I hope you are enjoying Until Dawn. I am. It's fun. It's silly. I'm ready to get this underway and let the most crazy things start happening, but I cannot wait to continue playing, you guys. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.